Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. And we're just in 15 minutes a day, we're gonna fuel your mind, your body, and your future. All right, when we're waiting for people to get on, good to see you guys. When we're waiting for everybody to get on, just some announcements. We Are Heroes, episode 50, comes out. It's not already out, it's out right now, episode 50. All right, Friday will be the season finale of We Are Heroes. So that was kind of last full episode. I'm ready to shoot kind of like a synopsis of all, all of them. So make sure you check it out. You could go to our Facebook page at dr.zano at the Facebook fan page or go to our YouTube, Dr. Zano, D-R-Z is in zebra, A-I-N-O, and you'll be able to actually see all of them on, on YouTube as well. They're all listed, all the We Are Heroes and all the 15 Minute Fuels if you like to catch on them. I'm also on Instagram Live, good to see you guys because they have the feature now where you actually can save it on the stories. So let me get right to it because I wanna be respected of your time. Today we're talking about it's time to be irrational and intolerant. All the past couple episodes we've been doing, I have I was going over very applicable things to do uh, to win, to to reach goals of your life. But now we need to get down to when it comes to reaching your goals in your life, you specifically, you need to become irrational and intolerant to doing so. Meaning that not irrational to you, but irrational. You need to actually be irrational to others because when you're irrational to other people, basically in their perception, you are doing something bigger and beyond than they're doing. So the mediocre, the mediocrity of society will look at you and say you're irrational. Think of all the people, if you have a, if you have a great, if you have great health and a great body, you're irrational, out of balance. If you have an amazing marriage and you're fully in love, well, they're, they're, well that, that honeymoon phase is gonna end. Like, like, so even though people will smile and give you the thumbs up on Instagram and on Facebook, like they're happy for you, but meanwhile, the mediocre person is envious of you. And in fact is, but they can't stay in envy, so they'll just point the finger and say how you're doing something wrong. So I'm getting here when you are, re so when you do reach your goals, okay, it's people are gonna say you're irrational or, it was in, or, or, or just uh, you were out of balance. So when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your job, excelling in your job or what you do, starting that business, have an amazing relationship and having outstanding, outstanding outrageous health, you have to become irrational in your forward progress getting there. And irrational means doing the work that some other person is not willing to do. Because if it was easy, everybody would do it. You know, someone very wise in my life said, um, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, many people are quitters because, you know, if they weren't quitters, people would be skinny, they would be rich and have an amazing job. And it was just something where, it was just saying that if we really stuck to what we had to do, all right, we would be able to meet, meet and reach the goal. So we wanna make sure that we win, all right? So, when, so it's being irrational is one of it. Another part of it is being intolerant. You know, I, I'm talking about this series about winning because of an intolerance. I was sick of seeing all the kids get a trophy, you know, 16 place trophy. It doesn't work that way. In life, you don't get trophies and only the ones that win get it, all right? So we want to have the habit of winning. So this is where you have to be intolerant. That means intolerant to not reaching that goal. So when something's in the way, if there's a person in your life, if there's a situation in your life, if there's something, if there's something that's actually sabotaging you from, from moving on with your life, if you tolerate it, you are holding yourself back. See, so when we're tolerant to things, many of you, you might be tolerant to abusive relationships. You might be tolerant to uh, you know being mistreated at work. You might be uh, tolerant to other things, but when you're tolerant, you're allowing that to keep you down. So when you become intolerant, and you said enough's enough, and you take that hero stand and you move forward, now you're able to take your foot off of first base and then so you could go to second base and then forward after that. So becoming irrational and intolerant. So when I say irrational and intolerant, it's gonna be that, you're gonna be intolerant and irrational to, from, by the perception of other people. So understand on this goal, so if you are dieting right now and everybody's saying, you're looking great, you're doing awesome, you know, you're also, that also that person's also saying, "Wow, I wish I could do that." And they'll tell they'll they'll elbow their friend. He's like, "Yeah, but uh, you know, she starves herself, right? Right? I mean, like because the people is like they want to feel comfortable in their present mediocrity, so then they'll just find a way that you do something else. So you want to seem irrational to people. You know, everything I do, I strive to, for someone to write something or say that's ridiculous, that's irrational, or that's uh, out of balance. I know I'm doing good then because then I know I'm I'm doing above and beyond." And I know when you when you reach that above and beyond mark, that's when things start to happen and accomplish because many people aren't willing to do it. And then intolerant, that is very huge for me. 
I used to tolerate, and I still tolerate a lot, of course, and you want to be tolerant to a point, but you want to be intolerant to the things that are against your values. Let's just start, forget about your goal, let's just get right to your values. Everybody has different values, so you want to make sure you're intolerant to anything against your values. So if something is questioning your values as a human being or in your spirit, and you're in a situation that's, that's pushing those, those values of yours, you need to become intolerant on that. Not only just take a stand, but actually possibly remove yourself from that situation, or if you can, remove that situation from your life. Because if you are tolerant, what you're doing is you're actually poisoning yourself, you're lowering your self-worth, your self-esteem, your self-confidence, and then you just stay, you just stay chained to wherever you're going. So we want you to move forward in all areas of your life. So this is where you become intolerant to the things that are against your, uh, your, your, your ethics and your values. Very important, you know, uh, simple, you know, we don't believe, you know, if my son came home, well, he's only 10, but let's say he was 15. And he says, dad, you know, or forget it. Let's say he was 17 and say, he's like, dad, I'm, you know, I found him drinking somewhere, right? I'd be like, that's in As long as you live in my household, I am intolerant to any of that nonsense. So th that's one of those things. So if you have ethics and values, write those down, say, this is what I stand for. And not only do I stand for him, I, I'm intolerant to anybody or any situation pulling me away from those or, or, or forcing me to compromise that. Because you always know what happens. Sometimes you're in a relationship and it's compromising your values and you're tolerant to it. How does it work out all the time? Just come on, you can yell it out on your phone all the time at what? It fails, it sucks, it doesn't work. So if you knew that then, just right off the bat, that's against my values, that's against my ethics, I'm intolerant to that stuff. I, there's certain things you can't budge on to move forward because we only wind up hurting ourselves. So this is where you could take the time to really just, just give yourself a self-evaluation, self-pride, and say, listen, these are my ethics and values, I'm gonna stick with them, and become an irrational. So whatever you're doing, whatever goal you're going for in your life right now, go to a point where someone might say they're a little irrational. You know, so I'll, I'll, it's so easy to go to food, right? So listen, if you're dieting, you know, you, may, you, you weigh in your food and cooking your own meals and eating six times a day, that's irrational to somebody. You preparing your food, you know, five in the morning, that's irrational to somebody. You going uh, to work when everybody goes out to eat something at lunch and you take out your cooler, you have a cooler bag with your food in it, that's irrational to somebody. When you're taking your vitamins, that's irrational to somebody. When they go out on a, on a, uh, on a business meeting and they're all having cocktails for lunch and you're drinking your water or sparkling water, you're irrational to that person. You know, when, you, when it's... Uh, when it's a Friday night and everybody's having an office party and you're going home to spend time with your family and your spouse, that's irrational to those people. So this is why when you become irrational to other people, you could assure yourself that you are, you're in that small percentage that becomes successful and you win. So don't let the tides of the, of the you know, the, the waters, so to speak, of your surroundings make you feel, you know, I look for that. I embrace the unknowns. I embrace the rationality. I want people to call me irrational because everything I've done in my life, it's because I was absolutely irrational to other people. But at the same time, the results, I would take the results any day of the week. I would not want to switch places and becoming intolerant. So intolerant would be, uh, you know, according to my values, it just, you know, I know I, just for me personally, for me to sabotage my goals going forward, I have to be intolerant to that because so many people rely on it. I rely on myself, my family relies on me, my patients rely on me. So the thing is, I wanna make sure that there's certain situations, whether it be stuff we watch on TV, stuff I put into my mind, things I listen to, all these things, you know, I make sure I control the best I can my surroundings because there's certain things I have to intolerate. I'm intolerant to certain foods I put in my body. And when, when you bring that all together, you know, that becomes part of your daily routine, your rituals, your rhythms. And even though others might say that's out of balance and that's irrational, you know, as long as you're happy with it, right? At the end of the day, I don't know if you saw one of my We Are Heroes, the only answer you need to why you're doing something, the only answer that makes perfect sense, and it's the only one anybody or other needs when they say, why are you doing that? The answer can be this, because I want to. That's all. You don't need any other explanation, because Napoleon Hill, back in the Think and Grow Rich days, you know, and it wasn't even a book about uh, wealth, it was about having a wealthy life, you know, enriched life. You know, it was, it was the, uh, he focused on nothing's more powerful than desire. If you desire something, you're gonna get it. Plain and simple, right? So whether it's irrational, irrational, it doesn't matter. You just want it to.
And I always talk about Starbucks. It's right next to my office, right? So everybody could wake up. You could buy the Starbucks coffee and drink it at home for nothing, for pennies. But people wake up. They wake up uh, 20 or 30 minutes early, right? They wait in line, a long drive through line because they don't want to go in. They pay five, six, seven dollars, which equals a thousand or more dollars per year for the coffee. Um, it's probably not the healthiest if you get the sugar and stuff and all that stuff with it. So the thing is, if I would go out there and I could logically, we could logically break down how the same person that says they don't have the time, they don't have the money, um, their health's their greatest asset, all this stuff, right? Logically, they say that, but I say, well, can't you just have the coffee at home and you could buy the coffee cheaper and do it at home and you don't have to get out of bed, you could sleep in a little bit like you woke up early and you could pay me, you could pay yourself 25 cents to make the coffee versus $5.25. So we could go down the list on how absurd and what irrational that is waking up early every single morning to wait in the line to go to Starbucks to pay more and take time and money out of your day. But you know what? That person could tell me whatever reason they want to, but the whole, the whole end of the game is I appreciate everybody in that, in that Starbucks line because they taught me a very important lesson. People get and they, people will do with what? What they want. That's it. That's the bottom line. Like, there's no philosophical thing. There's no uh, unique secret. It's like when I see someone do so, when someone cheats on their spouse, why they do it? Well, she was mean. No, no, she wasn't mean to you, your spouse, or he wasn't mean to you. They wanted to. And they got to take full 100% responsibility for the consequences. That's the way it works, right? You know, if someone, you know, if someone want, doesn't want to go to the gym, they don't want to take care of the body and they could say all that, just if we could at least own up that we're doing the things in our life because we wanted to. And then if people ask us, why are you doing that? You're like, cause I want to, I desire to, that's all the explanation we need. So I used to think it was just this big logarithmic equation, but look back into your life, all the things you did. Why'd you get the car you wanted? Because you wanted to, right? You know, just like, you know, why do we spend extra money for something? Because we wanted to. Why didn't we spend money for something that we really needed? And we didn't, because we wanted to. So it all comes down to that desire. So become irrational in your desire to get what you want, all right? Because it's about you reaching your goals. Don't worry about everybody else. And be intolerant that anything that pulls you out of reaching your goals or become intolerant to anything that sabotages you or goes against your ethics and values. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. So make sure you check out We Are Heroes, um, episode 50. All right. This will, and then uh, Friday will be our season finale of We Are Heroes. So check that out on Facebook and YouTube. Also, uh, go to Facebook, Instagram. You know, Facebook guys, go to Instagram. Instagram guys, go to Facebook. And also, uh, we're on Snapchat. And uh, just enjoy any questions you have. Just uh, direct message me, private message me. And I'll answer any questions, any topics you want to see about. Uh, 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 relating in mindset or health. That's the two areas I'm going to focus on, mindset and health. One of the others, I'll be more than happy to do those for you guys. So have an amazing day. I will see you tomorrow for 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day, will for your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.